Yo, what is good? My anime people, what is good, yo? So I had to bring out the cat goddess to, uh, you know, talk about the cats goddesses of the show. But with this week's episode, we are pretty clearly seeing uh the little bit of what i was expecting slash what i was kind of hearing uh once they started to pull out you know like uh sh- the the white haired one when she came and told us pretty much that there was a chance that you know she might not like you for you and that she might just remember your ancestors or something along those lines <clears throat> was kind of a dead giveaway for me when it came down to uh, what they could be trying to promise or even trying to allude to because to be fair it makes a lot of sense that sooner or later um, something will pop off I mean for some reason in his life he it's not like he was raised you know with these with these fox demons or whatever or fox gods um, they're demi humans uh he never he never really remembered them you know and <clears throat> all of his memories seemingly are from a self that you know he wasn't even there to be a part of so it's getting really interesting in that overall department of like what the heck is really popping oh my god like what the heck's even popping off and because of that we're just kind of stuck for the ride like what happens at the end of this all when you know they're supposed to separate or something along those lines like what what are we supposed to expect by the end of this show <clears throat> or just even by you know the time that he's feeling better or whatever or she has to go what what should we expect by then oh man they gave everyone the same one other than that though i'm pretty sure we're seeing quite a bit of what we kind of like to see from you know these anime shows i don't know why every show's like contracted or obligated to do like a bikini scene or like just bathing suits if that's your better way of looking at it it's 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 a weird concept to me but it's something that i've just grown used to like i just don't really question it anymore you know like i don't see a really reason to be like huh why this is, this is this episode shouldn't exist like nah this this is just what they do this is what they do and how they be um you know it's just one way of the show really giving us their way of fan service i guess um i mean there's some people out there that probably only live for these episodes seeing how i seen a lot of channels that are very catered to this type of uh like content and stuff like just catered to uh, these types of girls and types of you know skimpy clothes or whatever the case may be that's just you know that's what floats their boat so i can understand that this episode is probably the best episode for those people um you know not not necessarily the greatest episode just because they were wearing less for us but um pretty much what it comes down to is we get to see the last cat uh, that we really kind of even knew existed we knew three of them were there and we've only have seen two of them so to finally kind of see the third and see how mature she is and how she's just ridiculously uh you know she didn't even really care she's just like um yeah here's some food i know you've been dealing with them all the time and you probably have no money left and if you do got money you must have been doing better than I thought. Um, but yeah, she, it just feels like she could tell um, that her, those cats, you know, they, or them in general just get relatively, you know, crazy when it comes down to needing food and needing just certain aspects of how they are living or whatever, you know. I don't know. I really like, I really like their overall, like, choices of how these characters are being played out. They're not... They're not just doing ridiculously obvious stuff in the sense of, oh, because this happened, you have this is gonna happen. You know, it's, there's a lot of things that are just popping off because, why not? 
and a lot of it is behind the scenes so for instance her and you know like them talking about the fireworks and knowing that they're gonna like burn out soon and stuff like that was really the talk of again bringing us back to what if you know you guys had to separate how would you feel about that and we already know that he's enjoying his time as is not to mention that they're both kind of making promises to each other that it sounds like they're not going to be you know leaving each other anytime soon so i don't know i uh that's what's kind of interesting is if all of a sudden she just announced that she has to be gone for <clears throat> however long i mean how long can she stay there with you know uh the humans and why if that is the case if she could stay long why didn't she stay very long with uh the other ancestor or how long did she stay with him and maybe that's why she has to go because it affects the humans or something i don't know it's just a very interesting overall uh way of showing this show's uh you know way just the things the way that it's going i mean to be fair i didn't expect to see a lot of uh, like the white haired cat as much and she's just been keep showing up over and over at random times so I don't have no problem with it it's just <clears throat> it was a, it was unexpected to keep seeing her pop up the way that she was so to know that that is kind of the overall notion or the way they're going to play out the rest of these episodes what is this other cat that just gave us the feast really like what is her role what is she actually going to you know have to bring to the table or what is she even just doing in general when it comes down to the way she handles people and the way things are you know eventually come to an end as they say so really interested in seeing how they're going to end this show um if they're going to end it i mean Let's remember, this is literally a show where every day he goes to work and then comes home to something new. Or if he doesn't go to work, he's literally just uh, taking a break and he's already dealing with something new. So that's the type of show like we've gotten ourselves into. And as of now, they continue to make content in the sense of there's no shortage of it they can do whatever the heck they want they just went to the beach because they wanted to not to mention it was in a whole entire different world that's separate from humans you know so that's the type of stuff that they could elaborate on they could have multiple upon multiple places like this that they could go to i, I mean i'm just spitballing here but that's that's just my that's my brain that goes to work it's like oh well i mean you're showing us an outer world place that can't be reached by anybody but these women. And if that's the case, where else can you go that we we can't reach? You know, like what else can you do that you haven't shown? And I think that's why I have the feeling that it's coming closer to an end than, a, than continuing with all this talk of eventually everything comes to an end and Blah, blah, like they all just seem very very cryptid uh cryptid this week so um i don't know that that kind of ringed a bell for me i was just like yeah no this might end this might end pretty hard and then she meets up with him in another life you know like another ancestor of his rises up from from being born and boom bam she's like oh it's the same guy and yeah continues but <clears throat> other than that this episode was pretty fun i definitely can see why people are enjoying it and just watching on through and no complaints and stuff like that so i uh i definitely enjoy it myself i hope you guys are having an awesome day night evening i definitely wanted to drop this video earlier but things just kept happening uh last night and next thing you know i look up and it was like 12 or like two o'clock in the morning so I wanted to make sure that this was the first video I got out to you guys, uh, seeing how I wanted to get it out yesterday. And not only that, um, I wanted to at least uh, talk to you guys about this episode. It was pretty fun. 
So with all that being said, I will definitely talk to you guys very soon. I got another video that I'm about to work on instantly after this one is done. So thank you so much for the support. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I truly appreciate all of my anime people. Thank you guys for the comments. Thank you guys for the support. And above all, thanks for even just watching the videos. It means the world, and I can't wait to grind to give you guys more videos to watch. So with all that being said, peace.